as you can see by the title. If the Rams defense couldn't get any better, the Rams just added Eric Weddle for $12.5 million for two years. $12.5 million for two years. And you look at the interior of the defensive line where you have a Dominican Sue and Aaron Donald. And you know, as of last year, I mean, they were talking about getting Mac from the Bears. <laughs> Just imagine last year getting Mac from the Bears. And Weddle ended up some way, somehow, going to the Rams. I don't think there's any way you could sit there and honestly say that if that was the bulk of the Rams defense with the other pieces that they have, that the Patriots would have won the Super Bowl without it being scripted. I love Tom Brady, but, and I'm not a Patriots fan, but, I don't ignore the Warriors, sure, I'm not a Warriors fan, don't you worry. <clears throat> but, you know, it's just, that defense, if they would have had Mack, Weddle, Donald, Sue, I, you just... You can't sit there and say, unless it was scripted, that the Patriots would have won that game. But anyway, let's get it on to, you know, the good stuff. You know, just, that was something I thought of there real quick. It's like, that would have been too good of a defense. I don't care if you're Tom Brady, whatever. But anyway, as I stated in the opening of this video, if the Rams defense couldn't get any better, as, as if you thought their defense couldn't get any better, they added one of the best free safeties in the game. And probably in the history of the game as well. You know, I know he's getting up there in age, but man. So, I mean, you know. For the Rams. You know, they have a high-powered offense. Their defense just got better. I know. Oh, you know what gets worse for everybody in the, uh. Everybody else in the league? Not only did they sign Eric Weddle. But, and this is something I want you all to think about. Not only did they just sign Eric Weddle, but apparently from what I'm hearing and what I see online, the defensive line for the draft is stacked. Imagine one of the top five defensive lines sliding all the way down to 31 to the Rams. Or, say, if the Rams were like, well, you know, none of the top five guys deep on the defensive line are still going to be there at the 31st pick. Imagine if the Rams trade, you know, a small little piece, um, take it, take it up a little earlier in the draft to get one of those top five defensive linemen, more like top five defensive ends. How could they not be the favorite for next year? I know they lost in the Super Bowl, and you know, I don't want to sit here and say how could they not be the favorites, but it's just when you look at that defensive line already, look at the linebacking core, it could be better, you know. So say they somehow trade to get, you know, a semi-better, you know, linebacker. I mean, Littleton's amazing, but, you know, he could be better. And, on top of that, trade, or, or get a, a linebacker in free agency. And on top of that, trade up to get one of the defensive linemen. Preferably defensive. You're looking at probably one of the most stacked defenses in NFL history, if that is the way, you know, the Rams are going towards. It's just nuts. You you look at, you know, the offensive line is one of the, the best in football. I mean, it's either one of the best in football or it's getting up there. And then you have Todd Gurley, C.J. Anderson, Robert... And then you have that defense. I, I can't stress it enough. It's like the NFC, you know, the way they got to the championship last year is obviously questionable, but when you think about it, the way this defense might shape up, you could I could see them in the NFC Championship game next year, and in the so it, it, I just what, what I want to know is, as a Rams fan, what are your thoughts? Is this a, a good pickup? And for the rest of NFL fans, how much better do you think this make the Rams defense, or does it? not make the Rams defense any better and if you say it doesn't make the Rams defense any better you're just a complete buffoon I have no idea what you're talking about because yeah the Rams defense is stacked but they just added a free safety and if they move LaMarcus Joyner over to strong safety I don't know if he's still on the team or not but if he is 
and he plays strong safety, and he plays better than what he's been playing, or they, you know, draft a strong safety, you know, plays out of his mind for some weird reason, you're looking at one of the best defenses in the history of this game. And, I'm um, honestly, I just seen the news. As I was saying before, I was really interrupted because, you know, I'm on my phone, so, you know, phone storage, you gotta do what you gotta do. But anyway, as I was stating, this defense, if you, you know, get a better strong safety or if they do still have Lamarcus Joyner and he plays strong safety and he plays better than what he's been showing recently or this year. And then you have Eric Weddle who is one of the best safeties in the game with that interior defense. Get a better linebacker, either get a better linebacker in the draft, free agency, whatever. <laughs> and then you trade up to get one of those big defensive lineman names, and they pan out to be a beast. You're looking at, like I said, and I will repeat myself, like a fantasy defense. Like you remember the Ravens defense of the 2000s, you know. I mean, even though they weren't performing up to par in the playoffs in 2012, the Ravens defense from 2012, because they still had Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, guys like that. You're looking at a type of defense like that. If, you know, you get this signing, you get one of the bigger guys up front from the draft, you find a better linebacker. And I'm not saying Littleton's not a good middle linebacker. He's a fantastic little player, little ball player. But if you get a better linebacker, you know, from free agency or whatever you can come up with to get a better linebacker, you're, you know, you're really good at a fantastic defense that, you know, will probably put up <laughs> unbelievable, like, defensive numbers. I mean, and that just, like I started the video off, it just makes me wonder, you know, if they somehow had gotten Weddle and Mac, f you know, for a year Last year, could the Patriots really have competed in that game? Would they really not have stayed unbeaten with the way that defense would have been shaped out? It's like, I'm not saying that they couldn't have lost a game or two. Because it's obviously very possible, you know, this game we all love. You know, it's, anything can happen on any given Sunday. But that defense just would have been stacked. But, you know... Let me know your all thoughts down below. I, I was trying to get this video to 10 minutes, but you know what? I can't really think of anything else to say than what I've already stated. And I don't want to take up y'all's time. You know, this was just a little video to start my podcast. You know, um, I might come out with a video later with all the moves that happened today. Because uh, the, the Dolphins just released Danny and Mandola. Nothing to make another video on, but, you know... Just something to put in a major video later for a review of the moves that happened today, and I think I might, you know, start doing uh, reviews of the days in sport, the day of sports, you know. So you might get that review later after all the NBA games go off the air, or whatnot. See you all in the next video. Peace.